Hi, my name is Dames, and welcome to Fallout 4 Frost. Now, as you can see, um, we may or may not have a little bit of a predicament slash choice to make here. So if you haven't checked out the last one, then we managed to get ourselves some really good weapons after killing some unfortunate Alliance members. The only problem is, of course, it is Frost, so we don't have much carry weight, but... After reading some of your guys' comments in the last video, I think it's pretty obvious what we have to do. I think we can agree, first of all, this heavily damaged pipe pistol just absolutely bloody sucks. So even though we do have 19 bullets for it, honestly, it might as well just be shooting dust at this point. So let's just drop this thing. Now, of course, we do not have any ammunition left in our sniper rifle, so that isn't the greatest thing in the world, but... Yeah, we're definitely not going to be getting rid of that anytime soon. Now, after unlocking the hunter perk as well, we did manage to kill some rats to get their meat to be able to cook. So hopefully we should be able to, well, yeah, use that so we don't starve to death. So another thing, ideally, we do not want to be getting rid of. But we do have a lot of explosions on us. And honestly, I feel like we just need to use them at this point because they're probably the thing that's weighing us down the most. But we do have a level up that I did forget to use in the last video. So let's see what we should do. Now, ideally, I would like to take gun nuts so we can start crafting some ammunition ASAP. I think the priority for the time being is getting locksmith up and away because advanced locks are going to be everywhere. And also, I already remember a few from previous videos, so we need to get that goddamn loot. So locksmith learn. But in terms of the weapons then, obviously, we're going to be taking this vaporizing flamer and all of this goddamn flamer fuel but unfortunately, that means we're going to have to probably leave something behind. Now, annoyingly for us, we have been carrying this fungal purge around with us, which honestly is great, but also weighs us down a lot. So I feel like, unfortunately, even though they're really valuable, oh, this is a bad idea, actually. I think we're just going to have to leave them here for the time being. We can always come back and get them, remember. They're not going to disappear. Well, I hope they don't anyway. Now, we do have 24 glowing fungus, which do we honestly need that much as they respawn? Probably not, right? So we'll just drop the rest of that here for the time being. And yeah, should be good to go. But we do have this unbelievable flamer that is going to be super OP if you ask me. 155 flame rounds, I guess. Time to burn some dudes. Now, I'm going to continue going down this way then into Alliance territory with our flamer. Hopefully, we don't get blown up here. Of course, we are now carrying too much, as to be expected. So, we're going to have to drop off more. I guess we might as well just drop all of this junk apart from the books. I do like to have a bit of wood on us just so we can cook food. Now, if I remember from playing this last time, they may or may not be people on this staircase. So, as to be expected, there's a guy just right bloody there. Now, if we just... Okay. Oh, God, there's more coming. And my game's lagging. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ. Okay, that was not what I expected. Um. Oh, my another unbelievable gun we're not gonna be able to pick up God damn it now he does also have this serrated chinese officer sword is it going to be better than our baseball but of course this is super slow and weighs a bloody lot but yeah i think as melee is pretty much one hit anyway i am gonna miss you baseball bat but yeah i'm gonna i might store it on him actually and we will take the sword for ourselves for the time being let's also pop that in our favored slots oh god that was absolutely bloody ridiculous please remind me in the comments down below there's a heavy double barrel right there what did this guy have on him he also had a flamer oh my days um yeah i mean ours is obviously better ours is ridiculous but also we are still really hungry so probably should eat um the fish bits why not gives us radiation but it is what it is and the question is are there any more unsuspecting alliance members down here and obviously if we do get into a range battle we are pretty screwed let's see if we can 
go a bit stealthy here. Maybe chop someone's arm off. I can hear something. Hello? <gasps> Wait a sec. That is a child. We probably do not want to kill the child, do we? Hello, child. Hi, mister. Mom hey. said it's too dangerous to play outside. It is going to be dangerous. I've just killed two of your friends, I think. It's probably going to be dangerous. I expect things will get ugly. No, please. I promise I'll be good. Wait, what? Okay. Um, now, one thing you can do in this mod is take the children back to the Federation. And they actually give you a sanity boost, which is a pretty cool mechanic. So, guess you're coming with me, kid. It's all right. You're safe now. Got new orders for you. You're coming with me. Keep that in mind. Kids gotta earn their keep too. Just so you know, I'm keeping my eye on you. Okay, dude. Well, we have a new companion. Probably not the most aggressive one to be able to help us kill people, but I'll take it. Oh, I'll definitely take the dirty water though. Right, we have to be super careful here. I'm gonna call him Billy. He looks like a Billy, so... Yeah, Billy, we're really going to have to be careful here, my friends, because I'm assuming you're... What? Oh! Is that your sister, Billy? Can I take... I don't really want to just be stealing children, I'm not going to lie. Um... Hi, mister. Hey. You better not cause any trouble. Your parents are probably dead. tell you this. But your parents are probably dead. <laughs> It's all right. You're safe now. Got new orders for you. You're coming with me. Keep that in mind. Kids gotta earn their keep too. Just so you know, I'm keeping my eye on you. That's what your brother said. Great. With a child snatcher, apparently. Right. So, I guess we're gonna keep on going this way. Are they both? Yep, they're both following us. Fantastic. Um, There's some feet in there. I have a feeling... Not friendly feet. Um, oh. Are these friendly or not? I really... Okay, they're just running. Oh, that one isn't... Okie dokie. Right, let's bloody run. We don't have a gun. We don't have a gun. We do have a flamer, though. Oh, no, I nearly burnt the kid. Okay. <laughs> okay. Play engage with me. Kids, block the way. Don't give my position away. They're both just staring at me like this. Maybe they're still here, watching us, laughing. Right, I'm going to continue. <gasps> He's literally right there. I don't know how many bullets he has. Why is it going to be so quiet? Billy, move. You're in the bloody way. Billy, move, please. Oh, God, he knows. Billy! Oh, no! What have I done? Oh, what have I done? Oh, no. Look, he didn't get out of the way, guys. What was I supposed... I'll take... B this he didn't get out of the way, and she didn't see anything, apparently. God damn it. She really needs to move out the bloody way. But one thing this Alliance Volunteer has is my favorite type of ammo because we do have that gun back at home. So I'll be taking that as well as the bobby pins. Oh my, that gun is absolutely bloody beautiful. And we don't have any more room. I hate this. So yeah, another gun for us to come back and get eventually. But for the time being, um, we're a child murderer. So great. Um, I guess we're just going to continue going this way. Is there anything even in this little... We actually have a diary. I suppose we should read that, right? Yesterday, Carly and I were talking and she just said that Jeremy has a crush on me. It's kind of weird. I mean, we've talked a little, but he's always kind of there. He doesn't do much, but I enjoy talking to him when we do talk. And the only thing is that he has bad hygiene. Very, very stinky in the apocalypse. Poor guy. He smells kind of funky sometimes and it's a big F for me. I know we don't have a lot of good running water, but come on. She brought up Daniel and confessed. 
that she really liked him, which I really wish she didn't do. It's not because I don't want her to like him. It's just that I miss him. I know he was kind of shitty sometimes, but he was still my brother. Talking about how you liked him isn't going to bring him back. Or else Jason Dougal would have showed up a long time ago. I have no idea what this story is about, guys. I don't like Jason like that, but he was like another brother to me more than Daniel was. Jeremy asked me if he wanted to go and sneak out to the MCM exit tonight. Obviously, he wants to make his move or whatever you call it. I don't think I should, but I told him yes. I still don't know how I feel about him and I hate leaving the gates. Mom says the station exits are where the radiation and mutants are. I'm torn here. I should ask Jeremy what we are going to do before we go because I want to make sure we bring stuff to keep us safe. They are definitely dead. Um, why the hell would you go outside? But um, yeah. He's an alliance citizen. Can please move out of the way? Why are these kids so annoying? I don't want to burn you like your brother. Right. After struggling to get outside there, I guess we should... Continue forward here. That guy looks dangerous, so we probably should be careful of him. We'll definitely be taking the alcohol. I can assure you of that. Can we drink some, maybe? Or were they just... Okay, the whiskey wasn't, but the rest of them are just... And now we're an alcoholic. Great! I'm going to drop the bottles anyway. Also, we have a graveyard station read thing here. Post office station is a graveyard. Feds tried to attack me from the surface about a week ago. Entrance sealed in the fighting. Now, all they've got is the firebombed front. And to be honest, it's a goddamn wonder that line is still open at all. Okay, interesting. <gasps> Wait, no, I think he's friendly. Now, there is a wanted poster, which I'm guessing is us right now, to be honest. I'm going to try and sneak out of here. Oh no, they're dogs. Are you kidding me? Oh no! Oh good god. Oh good god. This flamer is absolutely... I'll be taking the meat. Brutal, but... No, doggy, I'm sorry! This is horrible. I hate this. But I guess we need to continue... forward he wasn't a threat was he why did we kill him oh well um anything in here oh, i mean brain fungus will be a hoe okay well we don't need brain fungus right now but i know it is a pretty useful crafting ingredient so we'll have to come back here eventually now we're still actually found but by who oh um what you win I think these guys are friendly, right? Well, they're just scared, so... Friendly is a bit of an overstatement, but as long as they don't attack us, I will not burn them alive! But we do also have a weapons workbench here. Um, do we have anything else? A door? No way I could pick this. Definitely cannot get into that anytime soon. Oh, we have a great... Is that the thing we just read from before? It is. Okay, interesting. Right, let's continue going this way even though we're basically running into a trap it feels like but we will see Gone now. I don't know which one of these is friendly or not I can hear shooting Oh, there's a guy with... Okay, right, no. We're not going that way. There is a guy with a bloody gun. Yeah, we're not found anymore. 
What is that noise? Oh, is this the guy Wait, bloody stuck? I thought someone was coming closer to me. You know what? I need all the sound I can get right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I tried to get rid of... Gone. I'm actually a really bad person. I've just realized. Okay. We have to do this very carefully. If he's got a gun, I don't mind him using up all the ammunition, even though we could probably loot it. Well, there shouldn't be any dogs left. Why is there a dead Brom in there? Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Can we loot the Brahmin? <gasps> Cow meat. Nice. Oh, don't come back. Please don't come back. No sign of him now. He's right out of ammo. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> That's what you get for using all your ammo. Oh, that was close, but we are encumbered, and he's very crispy. Right, we're going to need to drop something, and drop something very quick. Is anything in mist that just wait? Water filters. We need to use them, but at least we have them. I keep forgetting about them. The bobby pins. I mean, no. We could eat the melon, I guess, right? Do we really want to eat dog meat? Not the character, the food, obviously. I guess we can drop it. I'm going to drop the brain fungus as well. I mean, what else? Should we just drop one of these mines, I guess? We're going to have to for the time being. Now, we actually are still found, but I'm guessing it's by these very terrified people. Oh, God. What an idiot, by the way. He actually had another high capacity heavy damage hand. Oh, I'm not even going to read all that, but I'm going to take it. And then I'm also going to give it back. And we should have the ammo for it, right? Yes, you absolutely love to see it. But I think this was a very, very successful trip, if you ask me. We got a really overpowered weapon. And yeah. Now, I do believe this loops back round. I don't think we need to kill any more Port Alliance citizens, especially not children. So let's, let's go back this way and drop off all this beautiful, beautiful loot. And hopefully we can actually rest up as well because, yeah, we are absolutely bloody starving and we're thirsty and we can finally cook some meals. Also, I really just want to give a big shout out to the people that have been following this series. I do have a little surprise potentially of course, if you have been following this channel for a while, you will know the original Frost series on the channel. Yeah, it kind of ended quite abruptly. Basically, I moved twice, lost a lot of save files, lost a lot of mods, but I may or not have managed to recover it. So let me know in the comments down below if you also would like me to finish the OG series because, well, it's possible now. Now, annoyingly, we have left so much bloody loot behind and honestly, it is hurting my heart. So... We may have to make a couple of trips back and forth, but hopefully the area should be pretty safe, all things considered. We are going to want to eventually go to that door, but definitely not for the time being. I want to drop off as much loot as we possibly can and, well, heal. Now, I'm really hoping there isn't any glitches here where some of the enemies have respawned. Doesn't look like it. As you can see, there are all the dead bodies just hanging around here. But we can really do with finding a backpack. If any of you guys in the comments know where the best place to find one is, please let me know because this carry weight is really annoying me. Now we're nearly home. Obviously, we can't run very fast because there is not a lot of action points available to us due to the fact, well, we're hungry, thirsty, and a lot of other bloody things. But another thing we have, of course, just done is level up so... All the advanced locks that we have found, we should be able to actually get some loot out of them. I'm just trying to remember exactly what we have missed here. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I know we cleared this area up these stairs here. Didn't mean to open my menu. They're meant to crouch. Forgot I swapped the keybinds, but 
yeah i want to just double check i mean there's a lot of dead people so that's a good sign i think there was a door here that no we did get in the door was there potentially something i couldn't loot is that why i'm coming back lock tight never mind it was an expert lock safe damn it also these are the sugar bombs that i completely missed in a couple of episodes ago i am so blind thank you guys and also speaking of that we might as well finally eat them now of course this is actually another way outside don't think we're gonna really want to do that quite yeah i'll take the cigarettes to sell though that's be pretty cool but yeah going outside anytime soon seems pretty risky if you ask me we do need some more ammo in our longer range guns the flame is all good and well but yeah we could just get shot from about 20 miles away at this point but let's head back down here then cross all the dead bodies speaking of dead bodies actually what is our sanity at right now it'd be interesting to see 42 so yeah we're gonna start going insane pretty quickly if we don't sort that out we're gonna have to drink a lot of bloody alcohol i honestly think a lot of other games should incorporate a sanity system especially in games where you have to kill people i get it is really fun just mass murdering hundreds and hundreds of poor npcs but there's something quite cool about the fact that wait a second if i did this in real life i probably would go a bit crazy or maybe not but it does give a nice gameplay dynamic of having to really reap the repercussions of doing such terrible actions. And in this case, yeah, you just go absolutely bloody crazy and imagine absolutely terrifying things, which I don't really want to experience again. Also, if you haven't checked out my brand new Frost series, I want to see how it goes. We are playing as a ghoul in the Glowing Sea. Episode 1 is on the channel and hopefully in the next couple of days we should be able to bring out a second episode for that, which... Yeah, it's a really unique experience that I was having a lot of fun with. But we aren't nearly back home into downtown. There should be a cooking station just behind this door as well. So all that cow meat from the poor Brahmin and all the rat meat, which, yeah, I don't know how nice that would taste. We can hopefully cook it. We do have three books on us, I do believe. So, yeah, we should be able to have enough wood to make a few meals. Oh, where did... Well, that was a weird glitch okay also f in the chat for billy because that was absolutely bloody sad he also died in my last series by the way so maybe it's just a part of the runs now but we are at the cooking station then should we make some water i think we should purified water you absolutely bloody love to see it we have one purified water then huh? we can also do some roasting here so let's roast r horrible rat steak which actually gives us some AP, which is awesome. Some ribeye steak, absolutely bloody tasty. And a small ribeye steak as well. Nice. We also have some more wood available to us just behind that door. So let's just see how much this actually helps us in terms of food. Does absolutely bloody nothing, apparently. We are still absolutely famished. Fantastic. Let's also drink the purified water, though. We have also acquired a bottle, but yeah. Hopefully, it should be better than nothing. Let's go back home to downtown, then. Hello. What I'm actually going to do, I mean, I'll bring her out here. Is she going to follow me? Hi there. Hi, mister. How are you doing? I'm not scared of the surface. You know what? I'll take you out there then and let's see what happens. But anyway, that is not the point of what we're doing here. Uh-uh. Kid, I found you a new home. Fine. So she's going to chill here. Also, I just bloody realized all that loot that we didn't pick up, we could have just gave it to the kids and they could have carried it back for us like a backpack. I know some of you have already said that in the comments and bloody hell what an idiot I am. But anyway, let's not get too annoyed about that even though I actually am if we put fuming. Wait work, a sec. We can help turn this place I mean, I'll take the ammo. Okay, cool Federation soldier. Let's drop off our loot. Back to our lovely little workbench then. So if we drop off, you know what? I am just going to drop off the grenades because they're just weighing us down way too much. I'll keep the cocktails on us because I feel like, yeah, they're super useful. And we have three of them. We actually have so many already. 
Obviously going to be keeping the flamer on us as it is the most beautiful thing in the world. Still don't have any 308 ammo, so I'm sorry, sniper rifle right now. But we do have this ported converted handmade rifle. There are actually quite a few better ones back on the Alliance base, which we're going to have to go grab. Not going to lie. So we'll pick that back up as we do have three whole bullets for us. Check us out. I'm also going to store the Mentats, I think, for the time being, as well as the cigarettes for us to eventually sell. So all we're going to be taking out with us is the 762 rounds, which we have, and the Flamer Fuel. Not amazing, but hopefully, yeah, it should help with carry weight, and hopefully we can go loot some more things. We actually go over into our stats, and so we are suffering from lethargy and fatigue. So we're just going to have to get a lot of sleep. Obviously, the fam is dehydrated, and we also have an alcohol addiction, which isn't helping with the sanity, but also it does help with the sanity. It's a really weird system. Now, we do have 765 caps on us, which obviously is bloody amazing maybe we should finally spend some money but not entirely sure on what we could have a quick check of the gun store here handy hardware and see if we actually can we'll get anything that useful from big aussie here excuse me looking for a weapon sure let's take a look great so in terms of the actual weapons themselves i mean nothing awesome not gonna lie probably will stay away from then he has a hazmat suit though but it is damaged oh, that thing could be amazing i'm not going to lie we so we got gas masks etc we got a water filter ammo he has he does actually have some shotgun shells which would be useful he has some 10 millimeter rounds as well was the buy? i'm yeah super overpriced as to be accepted i'd rather just find the ammo for myself or maybe we but no we will not burn him intrusive thoughts are not going to win today now, i think as we are pretty light on the ground in terms of carry weight well as light as we can be i think we should go back and loot all of those fantastic weapons so back on the subway line then <laughs> Don't know why I just turned my flashlight off there. I thought it wasn't on, even though it clearly was. We keep heading down this way. Now, we still have a bit of meat we can cook. I don't know why we can't get our hunger down. I know we literally nearly died from being starving, which is hilarious. But, yeah, it seems to require a lot of food to not be that hungry anymore. I really hope this isn't a bug, but... I'm going to keep eating anyway, and hopefully we can find out. But, yeah, that would really suck. But, yeah, let's continue down here. Go past this chemistry station and bar here. Go down this way and go back around to the dead Federation member. That's what you get, Alliance. That's why I've killed them all because of what they've done here today. Go back through this door to the subway line. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there was a tactical heavy double barrel shotgun, which I would love. I really would love that. We can't carry that. Maybe. I'm trying to remember exactly what we left. We do have a rocket launcher here, as well as all this fungal purge, which we're going to have to take back with us. Now, if we go through here, there's dead Billy. Oh, God, that's so sad. Now, this is what I bloody wanted. High capacity. It's heavily damaged. We could take the scope off it, though, right? Okay, it actually wasn't as good as what I thought. Damage 79. Yeah, I mean, yeah, actually, never mind. We'll take it anyway. Drop it. Do we get any... Okay, he didn't get any more ammo from it. That absolutely bloody sucks. Continue looting around here, then. I do believe the guy who we killed at the very end of this also had an assault rifle. I just wanted to double check. Oh! Okay, it's just more very, very panicked Alliance civilians. Who we absolutely wrecked. I can't believe we burnt all those people alive. That flamer was bloody amazing. They definitely no more meat on the poor Brahmin. Anything in it? No. Absolutely not. Right. What did this guy have? Again, it was just a heavily damaged one. God damn it. So, I mean, I guess we aren't going to be taking any more rifles because, well, yeah, they're just not better than what we initially wanted. But I will definitely go back and grab those other weapons now, like the shotgun, because that thing could be pretty useful. Oh! Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, you win. 
Uh, we actually didn't go up here. Can we? We we can't go up here. Okay, fair enough. Never mind. Let's continue. Help me, someone. Just keep going. I don't want you dead. Just forget about it. Okay, it's fine. Do not you dare pick up any of these. Imagine if she just picked up that. Okay. What is happening here? All right, it's fine. Anyway, we're definitely going to be taking this because it's absolutely bloody awesome. But of course, we are now encumbered once again. So, hmm. After storing, oh, I guess what we can? The sleeping bag. You know what? I'm going to store the sleeping bag because there's so many more that we can pick up along the way. And honestly, sleeping on one of those things is pretty deadly. So, yeah, apart from that, is there anything we could maybe drop? A little bit of flame of fuel, maybe? Okay, perfect. So, we do also now have an absolute amazing double barrel shotgun. Unfortunately, no ammo quite yet, but I'm sure we will come across some. Should we maybe check what's behind this door here medical center station i honestly have no bloody idea let's open the door then and fingers crossed we don't just get shot in the head straight away <gasps> um yeah absolutely bloody not there's so much alliance there we yeah yeah we are definitely not going to be going there we do need to pick up this missile launcher, though. There's so much bloody loot. But I think this is where I'm going to end today's video. If you've enjoyed it, smash the like button and subscribe to stay up to date for all the content. Somehow, we are still alive. Thank you very much, Flamethrower. Burning all the Alliance citizens and Alliance children to death. But yeah, it had to be done. Rest in peace, Billy. Finally actually found some decent weapons. Just a matter of trying to get them back to the base now and find some actual ammunition for them. In the next one, I think we'll probably continue our journey down here in the tunnels, but then maybe we could venture outside and, yeah, get some power armor. That would be bloody brilliant. But I appreciate you for watching as always, and I'll catch you in the next one.